Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're here at Fort McHenry National Monument and we'll be looking around. They have a trail here that goes through all the historical monuments and the fort. So these are the cannonballs that they used. They had these different sizes. This one's the biggest. This is a, so there's six pound, twenty four pound, eighteen pound, thirty six pound, and thirty two pound one. display of one of the cannons that they used. You can see them down there. Yeah. You might not be able to tell on camera, but this is like probably like 10 feet long or maybe even more. As you can see, there's the fort right there, Fort McHenry. They have some huge cannons over there. And I'm about to go there right now on this trail. Okay, what does it say right here? It says Fort, Hen fort McHenry. Like military base today, comprised many buildings. If you were here in 1814, you would be standing on the edge of the outer drill field. Behind it, is, behind it stood two buildings, a gun shed where small field cannons were stored, and a stable for officers' horses. Foundations outlined in brick. A brick tavern sat just outside the entrance gate near those structures. Oh. So I'm guessing you see the flag, so. Uh, oh, this is Fort McHenry, you're here. Uh, so then it will be right here. Oh, so, that's what that is. Oh, th these were houses over here, yeah, the bricks. Then that Fort McHenry right there. The light patch of grass over there. That's where houses were, probably. Yeah. Oh, so that's what it is. That, yeah. 
All right. Let's go check the four out. Almost at the fort, guys. So this gun deck is like, like what they used to take off the British people. It's made of the 26 cannons in two tiers. The water battery comp comprised the fort's primary means of defense. The cannons that stood here fired shot weighing 18 and 36 pounds about. Oh, wow. No, 36 pounds, almost a mile and a half. Heated cannon balls known as hot shot provide especially devastating to wooden ships. So they use like fire ones to like do the wooden ship so like they burn oh yeah. so they put the fire i mean the cannonballs on fire yeah so you could see like yeah yeah i think the the, the Brit british used so it too Look, they're right see. here yeah all these cannons are here so it was two oh. tiers right so i guess this is one then this is one or yeah i don't know yeah Damn. oh i think this is whole one and this is one Damn. Look how many ships yeah. there were. They beat all of them. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no. It's amazing. Alright, guys. This is the entrance to Fort McHenry. See here it says entering Fort McHenry. is amazing oh look at the cannons Look how big these are, it's compared to my hand. Oh my god. That's all solid metal. So I'm guessing they had to push push these to turn it they have wheels on the bottom and like little rails for them to drive on dang man wow So that's where the British ships would be. This is where all the British ships came to come and attack. And these are all the cannons at Fort Henry that defended from the Britons. Like, they're all the way over there, all around. Fort Henry. Oh my bad, Fort McHenry, I mean. Imagine being here at that time. Wow. I'm 
करने के चक्कर में ना रो दिस इज 8565 पाउंड्स एंड दैट वन इज 49700 पाउंड्स ये अच्छा नहीं लग रहा क्रेजी ये जैकेट पहन लो All these cannons over here, all around the fort. See what's in here? Oh wow! What is it? Gunpowder. Oh, this is where they kept the gunpowder. Uh, wow. Dang. Looks like a dungeon, kind of. All right, so that was just the defense. Now we're gonna go inside the actual fort where they had the barracks. These doors. Oh my gosh! Look how thick that is. All metal. This is inside one of the houses that they used to have. And look how old all this stuff looks. They have a heater. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is heater. This for tea and other stuff. Look at the bed. <laughs> Fully wooden bed. I'll be so rough living here. So this is some sort of dungeon or prison. Can't really tell. See inside, have a little hole where the sun comes in. And there's a two more right here. It's just truly amazing. This is where all the soldiers stayed. These are one of the houses. This is how the fort looks. From above, it's built like a star.
this. Is this a radio? It's tough. It's like tick tock tock tock. Push the button on the radio. August Larcher, fire duty, U.S. Coast Guard. Served at the U.S. Coast Guard station at Fort McHenry from 1943 to 1944. My time at Fort McHenry began in the winter of 1943 when I enlisted as an apprentice seaman for which I was paid $21 a month. What I remember most about my time at Fort McHenry was how peaceful and beautiful a setting it was. I'd look out over the harbor, and it seemed like the war didn't even exist. Six, in regard to the request of the U.S. Coast Guard to use 8.4 acres at Fort McHenry for recreation, drilling, and the construction of several temporary classroom buildings. Also, the sea is the showing how they the fix the jaws the of the soldiers that got hurt or their jaws got broken. Really cool. Hey, what is this place? So it looks like this is where the soldiers hung out and ate and slept. <coughs> You can see there's a chess board, I mean a checkers board, and some playing cards right there. And this is their food. And their bed. So this is one of the wagons that they use to probably move the cannons or gunpowder barrels. And this is another one of their houses. Cross brace. Imagine you're standing in a trench dug by archaeologists in 1958. Here you see the actual cross brace that anchored the flagpole during the bombardment. Oh. This is what archaeologists dug up when they first found the fort. Oh, a mortar shell and a bayonet. Let's 
this. Plate fragment, wine bottle fragment, pottery, and kettle. Wow. This is a room for the junior officers where they stayed. They have their bed, the table. So confined, I can't even imagine living here. Wow. Okay. So this looks like one of the barns that they keep more gunpowder, I think. Oh, and the muskets. Wow. It's really cool. Some other cannons that they have on the floor over here. A little bit smaller. Here. These might be the cannons that they had on the ships. I don't know. So this is William Stewart's house.